What up, y'all? It's Mr. Zach Reacts. Man, Chicago is turning red, man. They flipping red out there. Flipping Chicago red. We flipping Chicago red. We flipping Chicago red. We flipping Chicago. What we doing, Miss Jackson? Flipping Chicago red. This is from 2024. From 2024. Donnie Chicago baby. Red. <laughs> they had a city council meeting, man. Uh, expressing their sentiments about what's been going on in Chicago, man. Uh, they had the mayor Brandon Johnson there. And he should be ashamed of himself, man. He really should be ashamed of himself. They're not listening to the citizens. They're doing whatever the hell they want to do with these damn migrants. And it's just, it's crazy. But man, we got this one lady, man, her name is Danny. Uh, she gave it to him. That's all I can say is she gave it to him. You know, she's a, a trainer from what I understand and she see the same thing I see. I'm, a, I'm way out here in, in, in California. And when you look around this town, the city, you see a lot of pop-up restaurants where they're just cooking on the corners. Like a whole block with lights, grills, generators, all type of things out there cooking, man. And uh, <clears throat> me seeing that, man, as an American citizen, man, I couldn't even do that but they're allowed to be out there cooking on the streets, posing a lot of danger, health threats, and everything else. But enough of me talking, man. Y'all look at this, all right? Hello. So, what we refer to you all as gated community politicians. You all are so out of touch with reality and the citizens of Chicago and America it's crazy, and I'm going to call it the Democrat Party. Y'all so out of touch. Y'all don't understand that what you, you all, I don't know if y'all don't understand, but y'all don't see it. America is coming together, and Chicago is coming together. Black, white, it don't matter, because see, we see a common threat. And you all are a common threat to America and Chicago. How dare you sit up there and go on TV and say Chicago people are dope when you talk about and talking about how you handled the migrant crisis, illegal crisis when they all in my neighborhood. Now I can't go across the street and do a, a simple workout. I'm a trainer. I'm trying to to educate the citizens of Chicago, put the help dads be in the homes, educate them about health, fitness, how, how it is, and to be healthy with your kids, eat healthy, work out, do something for the community, and I gotta go through all these permits, all these hoops, everything. I got insurance to go in the park. But then, I see a Nichols down the street from my house with a whole entire restaurant. I thought I was, I thought I was looking at Donald Trump when he was at McDonald's. They sit up there and had generators on the street, on the, on the sidewalk, generators. And they had a fry machine taking the basket out the, out the oil, putting it on the side, and not only that, they had tables. <laughs> tables and booths set up, like a whole restaurant outside. I just sit there, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Trains, putting the french fries in, all the smoke in out here, and they serving the people with aprons on, hmm. outside. Outside. Now my taxes done went up. <laughs> now they don't, they not putting nothing into it. My husband is a retired police. He gave 28 years to this. And now you gonna sit there and talk about we don't and we don't care. No, we're not okay with that. We tried to tell you that. <laughs> Sanctuary cities, we didn't want it, but you blocked that. You all don't believe in democracy. Democracy is out the door. You all believe in dictatorship. <laughs> but that's okay. Because like I said, when Trump, we all for Trump. Hmm. And we're going to, he, he's demolishing these sanctuary cities. Because mm -hmm. that's what the American citizens want. See, he listened to the people. Mm -hmm. And that's what the people want. So you all sit up there and think he's cool. But remember, the same thing make y'all laugh is going to make y'all cry. After, listen, we put you all in, in, in office to advocate for us. Mm -hmm. All these illegals in our neighborhood, and y'all just, it's funny now. Yeah, okay. This, this place in us, it's cool. Hmm. That's how you do it, Danny. That's how you. <laughs> That's crazy, ain't it? Man, look, they talking about Donald Trump as a threat to democracy. He's not a threat to democracy, man. The Democratic Party is a threat to democracy. Remember his number, thirty-two. Today we got thirty-two days until the election. 
<laughs> the teleprompter just went out. So 32 days. 32 days. Okay, we got some business to do. We got some business to do. Joe Biden hates her, okay? Hates her. You don't mind if I go off teleprompter for a second, do you? <laughs> Joe Biden hates her. She doesn't have a plan. She copied Biden's plan, and it's like four sentences, like run, spot, run. Just putting somebody in without a primary election or anything like that, you know, not listening to the citizens. We fed up out here, man. We are really fed up out here, man. Looking as close to election. What is it, about eight days? Nine, eight days left to election. So I encourage everybody, man, who wants a change uh, in this society, man, go vote for Donald Trump, man. I know you're gonna say it's the lesser of the two evils, but the way the Democratic Party is moving, man, is pure evil, pure demonic. <laughs> and it is. You can't sit up here and say it's not. If you look at their policies, man, boys and girls, bathrooms, men and women's sports, tampons and boys' bathroom, uh, gender affirming care for minors, all type of situations going on. They don't even pray. You can't even say Jesus is king or Jesus is Lord in, in, in none of uh, uh, whatever that lady name is, Kamala, her rallies, you get kicked out and booed and shamed that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade, and they did as he intended. Jesus is Lord. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, this is Mr. Zach Reacts, man. Y'all hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that share button and hit that like button. Also, leave a comment how you feel about uh, the cooking on the streets and, and how the, the migrants are being treated better than normal, regular U.S. citizens. All right? And I'm out. Peace. God bless America. I gotta let them know what's up. God bless America. Are you sleep or are you up? God bless America, trying to hit you with the news. God bless America, don't be a dummy or a fool. They watching me.